Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise, and today we are filming my dashboard layout for the week of April 1st. This year, I've been trying to show you a little bit more about how I use this layout and what it looks like after the pen. And um, this is, I don't, I'm trying to remember the last one I showed you. I probably showed you this, but up to here. And so this is the current week I am on. Today is Friday, April 22nd. And that's what this week has looked like. There has been no short form content this week. I have not felt great all week. So I just haven't had it in me to do that extra. There's nothing written down here because the week hasn't happened yet. So I'm going to move this and we're gonna take the pages out of the discs. The reason I'm doing it off camera is because on the other side, of these pages is my April YouTube calendar and that includes some release dates and things like that of different brands I work with so I just can't quite show that schedule ahead of time. Uh, we are going to take my correction tape and just cover up these sections. I did do a video recently where I showed how I would use the dashboard layout as a catch-all planner and um, I got a lot of feedback that that type of video is helpful. I will say it's just not the planner that works for me as a catch-all for my everyday planning, my, my life planning. This is the planner that I use for Plan With Elise, and it's what works best for me for that type of situation. I know that a lot of creators use this for that same purpose, and sometimes you may feel like it's not as helpful because you don't know, like you're not seeing an example of how to plan your life that way if you're not using it for content. But I do want to stress that however you use the dashboard layout, whatever you label these as should apply. Like, hmm, let me back up. Even though I'm going to be labeling these as YouTube and Patreon and all of that, the decorating would stay the same whether or not I used it for Plan With Elise. So I might, let's say I used it as my catch-all, what my life looks like versus your life might be different. So even if I use it as my catch-all, we still might have different labels. So anyway, I have, excuse me, the Kel of a Plan. I love spring sticker book. I am deep into spring mode right now. And I just loved these stickers. I feel like they are just so very pretty and that they would be the perfect combination. <clears throat> I hope that my voice lets me film this video. I feel like we're getting quite froggy, so we shall see. But I'm going to put this window sticker down. I think that that's really pretty. And then we're going to take a couple of boxes. So what's been working nicely for me with this layout lately is using these boxes as like separate goals for the week. So like top three goals or top three things that I want to accomplish by the end of the week. I just, top goal apparently is get this sticker down straight. <laughs> Not always that easy for me. Okay, there we go. I think we're good here. Let's shift this one over because I don't need that much space. And then before I put this down, because this will cover the rows, I want to put this down. So we have nice, even layering there. All right, that looks good. Now let's go to the right side. So I don't need another window sticker. I do want to bring in this corner floral, which is really pretty. Spring Essentials, I think this is called, oh, it's called I Love Spring. I Love Spring is still in stock, um, and I'll have it linked in the description of this video if you haven't yet picked yours up and you would like to, but it's filled with so many good spring stickers. There's Easter stickers in here. There's cleaning stickers. There's Mother's and Father's Day stickers. So it's a really good, like, all-in-one book. And then we're going to put the flowers over here. This is what works best for me with this type of layout because as you could see in where, where I showed you kind of after the pen, I need as much space as possible most of the time. This week was a little bit of an outlier because I wasn't feeling great so I didn't get as many 
reels done as normal, but I did get a lot of, I need to cut that. I did get a lot of videos done because with Go Wild coming soon, um, I don't want there to be like a gap in my channel. And typically I do that whenever I travel. I just haven't traveled in a while for more than a weekend. So that means a lot of filming ahead for the next couple of weeks to make sure that I'm not, I don't have that gap. Okay, there we go. This was the Kel of a Plan knife that I used here. And that just cut that off really nicely so that I still have room over there. Now we need something fun up here. So let's try to, oh, also there's a weird gap there. So we're gonna try to fill in some of these some of these gaps. Um, I'd like to bring in butterfly. I think a green might be nice or a blue actually. I could go for either the green or blue. Maybe we do both. Do that and then the green one can kind of go right over here. That's pretty. And then we need something for this top area. I'm wondering how it would be to have this, but like horizontal. Whoops, these stickers that just decide to go down before I am ready for them. And then we can take a little header sticker. Let's do a red one and put this right here. Okay, that's going to be my YouTube schedule for the week. And this way I remember what needs to be posted what day. <laughs> then we need some more boxes. So I'm going to bring out the green, this bluish, the yellow, and the red. And put these on the side of my desk while I figure out what, hmm, which color I want to go where and maybe some layering to make it a little bit of fun too. I don't tend to use icon style stickers as much in my dashboard because sometimes it's a, it's hard for me to like figure out exactly where things should go, but we're we're trying. We're trying to do the thing this year. We're trying to do the things that don't that I that I struggle with. And maybe if I can get better at them and it's something that you also struggle with, maybe you can learn something, but who knows. Okay, now let's take a butterfly. And do we switch these? No, we're going, we're going the same alignment. I know I tried that last week and it didn't work out well. So we're going to do that there. And then we have two more. So I want to take this blue one and combine it with maybe a red flower. We'll put this here. And now I need one more and this will be combined with, let's do a little, oh wait, I already did a butterfly. I can't do another butterfly. Um, I mean, I can, it's not like a rule that I can't, but I feel like I need something different. Hmm. I feel like I got myself into a corner here. What about this paintbrush with the flowers? Let's try that. See if that works. Using the tweezers is always the best way to get stickers off the page, especially clear ones, because they're so thin that it can be hard to get them off. I'm trying to get this lined up properly, and then we'll do this. Okay, so this is where I map out things I need to do. So we have usually Patreon over here, miscellaneous like releases and sales that are happening during the week or other things I need to do. This is usually videos that I need to film and this is short form content, but you saw like that, that one doesn't always happen. <clears throat> All right. So I think the left side of the page is pretty good. Uh, the right side, we need a couple of things here. So first up, I'm going to take, hmm, couple of stickers because there is a release and I have a Zoom on Tuesday. 
I might have more than one Zoom, but when I'm, like I said, when I'm filming this, it is not yet um, April yet. So typically my one-to-one -one Zooms get scheduled after April begins. It's going to be a little bit hectic trying to get everything in there, but it'll, uh, it'll happen because it's got to happen. So what I mean is trying to schedule just as with the first being on a Monday. I'm also going to put this box over here because of another release. And then I have some Planner Kate stickers here. There's no Warehouse Wednesday because this will be the uh, June release. So there won't be a Warehouse Wednesday, but I can take a Misfit Monday sticker and just put this right over here. So I remember it being Misfit Monday. And then let me just look at the back here. There is another release on Friday. So it's going to be quite a busy week of releases. Let's decide which color to use. Maybe yellow. Actually, I'm going to use the blue because we already have the yellow right up there. So I'll do this one over here for Friday. Okay, so we have... The one thing I didn't do was put in any quotes. I don't know if I have room for quotes in this spread. And then we just need the... Um, bullet points. So I tend to go towards my zig dot because they're just easy. And I just have to decide what color is going to work. There are these bullet points, but it's just easier for me to put them down. So I think we're actually going to go with the red. These do bleed. So you've got to go light. I'll show you what it looks like when we turn it over, but I am going to go really light here. Just a tap. The harder you press on these, the bigger the bullet point becomes. But the harder you press, the more it's going to bleed. And it's just easier to do these bullet points than put down, what is this, six times seven, 42 individual stickers. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the dots over here. A lot of that is going to get covered um, by stickers or I'm just going to write over it so it doesn't bug me. It's easier for me to do it this way, like I said. All right. I think that this came out really, really cute. I feel like I added a little bit more icon style stickers than I normally do. Um, and it's functional and that's what I need it to be. So I really love this spread. I'll link I Love Spring in the description of the video. If you haven't yet picked it up, I would appreciate you using my affiliate link to do so. And I think that's a wrap. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.